And I realize some of you are here today strictly because I was going to talk about Elvis Presley and see if I was really going to do it. So here we go. And Elvis obviously is on the list because of his rendition of All Shook Up. <laughs> so we'll do a little biography and uh, then we'll talk about why he's on the list. And born in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1935. 1954 starts doing rockabilly recordings for Sun Records. January 56, Heartbreak Hotel hits number one for RCA Victor. Remember RCA Victor? Uh, November 56 makes his film debut in Love Me Tender based on the Civil War tune Orderly. 58, drafted in the military. 1960, release of his first gospel album, His Hand in Mine. It makes it to number 13 on the pop charts. 1967, How Great That Art album is released. It reaches number 18 on the pop charts. 68, his comeback special on NBC. Some of you probably remember that. Uh, it is still among the most watched television programs uh, in the history of the world. 1972 release of He Touched Me, his third gospel album, and that went platinum in 1999, the biggest selling uh, gospel album of all time. 1973, the first globally transmitted concert with Aloha from Hawaii. I remember watching this, I remember my parents didn't understand why I wanted to watch it. But, uh, and he looked terrible. <laughs> well, that, was, that was in the pills and yeah. whiskey. Uh, he he, he was <laughs> really well. Yeah. But 1.5 billion people watched that concert worldwide. When the Beatles did uh, All You Need Is Love in 67, that was the first satellite event, about a billion people watched that. So this had a billion and a half. Now, the technology had improved six years later. Uh, let's see, 1977, he died in Memphis, Tennessee, for reasons we were just discussing. Uh, 2002, he's elected to the uh, GMA Gospel Music Hall of Fame, Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame. So why is he on the list? He's on the list because of his reach. Recorded three gospel albums with more than 50 songs on them. And because he was Elvis, people bought them. And it might have been the first time they'd ever heard any of those songs. Uh, and uh, they, they bought them because it was Elvis. Elvis Presley only won three Grammy Awards in his 20-year career. Three. And they were each one of his gospel albums won for him as the best, uh, best gospel. His 1960 release of His Hand and Mine was the first one. Went platinum in 1992, so his albums are still selling today. Included His Hand and Mine, Joshua uh, Fit the Battle, Josh Funk Battle, Jericho, Jericho, Swing Low, uh, Swing Down, Sweet Cherry, Come Forward, Carry Me On, uh, Mansion Over the Hilltop by Iris Stanfield. He's no one who could have been on, on the art list of 25. Uh, and these are mostly, uh, the, mostly older or traditional gospel tunes. And uh, there he is with Richard Nixon. I, didn't choose that picture because I necessarily wanted a picture of Dick Nixon in the course. It was the only one I could find that was copyright free because <laughs> this was a White House photograph, therefore it's owned by the American people. All the other photographs I found were owned by some news service or something. So that's why you get to see Elvis. 1967, how great that art is released. By 2010, it had gone triple platinum. Triple platinum. Three million copies. Gospel music uh, Grammy for the best sacred performance category. In addition to the Stuart uh, Hine title song, the album also uh, included By and By, Stand By Me, and Crying in the Chapel. Crying in the Chapel, I think, became one of his most popular songs. I mean, you see that on, on his greatest hits albums. 1972, uh, he released He Touched Me. It had gone platinum by 1992, and Bill Gaither, who was essentially an unknown at the time this album was released, suddenly it was catapulted into worldwide superstardom because uh, Elvis decided to name the album after his song, uh, He Touched Me. Now, when we get to the Gaithers, we can argue about what their most well-known song is. Some people would say, uh, uh, Because He Lives, 
which is in our hymn book. Uh, but uh, you can make a case he touched him as the most well known one because Elvis recorded it. Uh, has uh, I've Got Confidence by Andre Crouch, Amazing Grace, John Newton. Reach Out to Jesus by Ralph Carmichael. Ralph Carmichael was another person that could have made our list of 20.